Here's another comparison of two sound level meters. I have the iPad, and this microphone on the left is uh, using the Faber Acoustic app, which I have calibrated to 94 decibels and confirmed that it was calibrated at 114. I'm running it on a flat waiting with a slow setting. On the right I have my iPhone also running the Faber Acoustics app with the external microphone also calibrated to 94 decibels and double checked and on the slow and flat waiting. So they should be identical devices. They're not quite reading the same but let me turn some noise on and make a comparison. And now I'm seeing that the iPhone is about three decibels, four decibels lower than the iPad. The one on the right is about four decibels lower. So even though they're calibrated and the calibration works, I'm not getting the same levels even though I'm almost at the same location with the two microphones from the same noise source in the room. Let me bring in my third one. Let me bring in my, uh, my SL5868 to bring it in. I had calibrated that app, that meter also, my uh, external standalone meter, I'd calibrated also to 114 and 94 and double checked it. So I get three different numbers, numbers, three different levels, even though I'm using three devices that have all been calibrated. And again, that's this uncertainty with a type two meter that you can have plus or minus two dB on each meter. So there could be a variation of four decibels if one is a bit high, one is a bit low when you're looking at a noise source. So the type two meter will get you in a ballpark, but it not necessarily gonna be the most accurate thing. We need a type one for really good data, but the type two will be okay for the purposes of this course.